Now, your award-winning local sports coverage. Here's Jeremy Thomas. Oklahoma High School baseball has been postponed because of the coronavirus, but that's not the only thing on hold for the Latta Panthers. News 12's Travis Buckner explains. And one of the most consistent teams in the state, winning 10 championships over those three decades. And just when it seemed like Latta would make another run at the state tournament, the season came to a close, forcing the Panthers to wait in the on-deck circle for a few more months. You get those feelings that you were going to do something, and uh, that, that's probably what bothers me the most, is not the opportunity. But to tell you the character of those kids, they understand that there's bigger things going on in this world right now than people playing baseball. This year's senior class managed to accomplish a lot in just four years, which includes several seasons with 20-plus wins, as well as making it to the state tournament multiple times. It's a class that has left quite the impact. Bless their hearts, the seniors that did not get to play this spring, uh, they're never going to be forgotten. Do not take any day anything for granted. Take advantage of what God's given you and blessed you with and enjoy it. While baseball is on hold for the moment for the underclassmen, there's one thing that's on hold for Coach Collins, history. Collins needs just eight more wins to become the winningest high school baseball coach in the state of Oklahoma, which was very likely to happen this month, but that too will have to wait until this fall. You know, I never started out to chase records. In fact, only a couple years ago, I was even unaware of where I was at, other than my son, my youngest son, who is now my assistant coach, and my wife surprised me, and I had no clue. If I knew I wasn't going to coach again, another ball game, and, and this is where I was at, it wouldn't be bad because I've always felt like that I've gotten so much more out of the game of baseball and coaching than I was able to give it. Reporting in Latta, Travis Buckner, Sports 12. Well, could we have baseball in a bubble? The coronavirus has put the Major League Baseball season on hold, but that could soon end as discussions turn to the possibility of starting the season with everyone in Arizona. Players and owners are kicking around the idea of a controlled person, quarantine so that would put all 30 teams in the Phoenix in area for games, with players Deep possibly ball, living right alone field. in hotels, not allowed to go this anywhere, with testing readily yard. available to play games in front of no crowd. Now, federal public health no officials are saying it's a viable option, but there's still a long way to go on the plan. The Sherman Lady Cats will have a new basketball coach next year. David Upton steps down to be a teacher only. Upton led the Lady Cats for four seasons. Well, our tour of some of the greatest moments in history of Texoma sports continues at the pool. We go back to 2017 and perhaps the greatest year of swimming we've ever had. Denison swimmer Lindsay Looney was a sophomore and had already won a gold medal at this point. She had already claimed a silver medal her freshman year, but this year would be different. She would go on to win both gold in her events, and she would set the stage to be the dominant swimmer at the state meet for the rest of her career. But this year was special. That's because her her older brother, Davis Looney, would reach the podium as well. He took home the bronze medal. Davis would go on to swim at New York University. Lindsay is a freshman on the Arizona State swim team. This was perhaps the peak of Texoma swimming. Pottsboro's Lacey Reeser had also been at a state meet as well. She was a state qualifier during this time, and the Looney's were able to accomplish something that's very rare for a brother and sister to pull off. And that's a look at your sports this morning. We'll be right back.